Hey guys on YouTube and today I'm going to be uh, just kind of teaching a little cool trick I learned with how to create a kind of sort of um, how do I put this I don't know, like motiony and all cool and fluent design I'll show you what I'm talking about it's kind of like when you're high or whatever alright so first thing you need to do on Pinnacle Studio this will only work with Pinnacle. I don't know about Sony Vegas. What you need to do is you need to create a standard motion or just regular title and make it blank. And you need to drag it about to any size you want. I use about 12 seconds each time. Then you're going to open your toolbox. And this only works when you have the red giant trap code 3D stroke. I know it sounds wrong, but it is a 3D stroke. So you could just you know change the length to whatever you want them to use about 12 seconds and over here there's a bunch of presets like let's see it's not showing that one but oh there it is yes because it's at a uh, zoom lower but then we have this all a bunch of cool stuff little sparks <sighs> I'm gonna just start at let's see I'm not gonna choose any keyframe presets all right oh crap reset reset delete reset to add the effect again because I fuck something up. Hey, you're going to click use keyframes down here. This will allow you to make a moving object. And you're going to choose um, your color. And now I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with a white, but I have a way to change that. Right, you want to choose the thickness from 10 to almost anywhere below that will work. I like to use about 3 or 4. I'm going to keep these to the same and the offset none. You can tinker around with that. Um, you don't want to enable taper. I'm going to go down here and enable repeater. That creates a bunch of them. And you drag the instances to as many as possible and the opacity to really to about the middle so it looks like that. Scale, you can increase that just a little bit. Maybe you do about a little bit above 140. Spacing. Uh, just uh, increase that to max. Okay. Now what you're going to do is the first keyframe, you're going to want to put the bend at zero and everything at static. Uh, static presets. And then you'll see here. So you enable the repeater again. Point oh, fifty-seven point thirty, one hundred forty point thirty, one point fifty. Crap! Hey, don't you hate that when your computer doesn't type? Okay. Now down here, you want to change the transfer mode to add. And now you go back to your first keyframe and just put the bin at zero and then put the bin here at max. 
and you also want to take your Z position and kind of zoom in and you can use a little bit of rotation if you want to I'm going to decrease the thickness just a little bit more Let's change the Y rotation. Alright, now if we go back, this is what it'll look like. I could be great for a lot of things. It could be great for intros, you know, um, intros, I've even used that in a couple of special effects for a little bit of my montages. This is a really useful tool. Now, I'm going to create a bunch of color changes to make it even more crazy and erotic. This will give it a number of depth. Just want to choose a bunch of you can really take your time and choose your colors wisely, but I'm just putting a bunch of random colors because I don't have a lot of time. Oh uh, no, that won't work. Don't do black if you have a black background. Put a yellow. And then we'll stop at white again. Here we go. Now, if you want, you can go back to a couple of the keyframes. I'm going to go to 5. I'm going to adjust the Z position just a little bit. About right there. that to almost max so zoom directly in on it all right so basically that is the clip I just made I'll zoom it to maximum size there play it one more time while I'm talking um I have used clips like these in uh, a couple of my montages, so I haven't used them to this advanced of a stage. Um, but these can come in real handy. They add a wide variety of special effects. So I'm gonna save this. And hold on, uh, my Windows new Windows 7 computer is being a little bit of a bitch here. There we go. Hit file save project as I'm just gonna save it as swirly because that's what it is alright so I'm gonna do one more thing for y'all I'm gonna add a song to just make it a little bit add a song or a dubstep song basically just to give it a little bit of a kick you know we have a fade out okay so now it sounds I don't know if y'all can hear that because I'm using headphones with a mic but if you can that'd be good
Yeah, it fades out. I'm gonna have it fade in. And then, uh, and then, yeah. So, save the project one more time. And if uh, you really work at it for a long time, you c you can get something like this. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Um if y'all have any questions just put it in the comments. Alright. Peace.